Am I the asshole for making my mill look like a miserable mother because she forget a birthday? My family-in-law was always mostly nice to me. But I found it very sad how they treated my partner. We are together for four years and we both moved away from our families. Whenever we visit his mother and stepfather and his half-brothers who are younger and live at home, they make not the slightest effort to show him that they are happy so see him. We have to clean the guest room first, we have to buy food for ourselves because he's allergic to some food and his parents always have nothing to eat for him at home. When we visit his mother would say stuff like, you are not guests so you can help cooking, jokes. I don't mind helping but usually we cook for the family while she drinks wine and tells us what to do. They don't show any interest in his life, ask him questions or anything. She sometimes said that getting him was too early and a mistake. It's very strange for me to say something like that to your child? I never said anything mean about it and my partner doesn't really want to talk about his family. When we visit my mother, I'm an only child, we go on walks together, we cook together and she is supper happy to see us. He always much more happier when we visit my mother. Yesterday was his birthday and because of COVID we partied alone. When his mother and one of his brothers had birthday we called and have sent them packages with some presents. His family did not call all day long. At the evening he was super upset and wanted to go to bed early. I couldn't see it and I wrote his mother a message, Hey, is everything okay? We sometimes have troubles with our phones have you tried calling because of his birthday? I hope that maybe it's only a phone problem although I suspected that it's not. Within 10 minutes his mother called him and wished him a happy birthday but then she told him what a bad person I was for implying they forget his birthday and how manipulative I am. She said that I always try to make her look like a miserable mother and that I'm now not welcomed at her house anymore. I don't know how to feel about this. Was it an asshole move? I tried but I couldn't see at which point I was an asshole. Not the asshole, she did forget and tries to blame you so she won't look bad. She is indeed a terrible mother. I do hope that since you're not welcome anymore, your partner will use this as an opportunity to stop visiting them completely. He is not wanted there, neither are you. Not the asshole the fact her reaction to that was to ban her son's wife from her house starting from his birthday shows she is indeed a miserable mother who doesn't think about her son. Not the asshole. But I would suggest not reaching out to them anymore yourself. Make your husband do it. It might make him realize that they don't actually want him around and how much better off he is without them. Not the asshole, your poor husband. Not the asshole. She's mad because you got with her son and called her out for her BS. NTA, take it as a blessing that you aren't welcome there anymore. Just because someone is family by blood it doesn't mean you need them in your lives if they are toxic. NTA. You were even nice enough to give her a way out of admitting that she doesn't care enough to call her child on their birthday. It's pretty clear that you weren't welcome in her house before, so I'm not sure why she thinks that's a consequence to you. She's the one losing the opportunity to get her spare room cleaned, groceries bought, and in-house catering when you visit. I'm sorry his family treats both of you like this. The way some people think is baffling. Not the asshole my parents were the same way, to the point of telling me to clean their house while I was seven months pregnant and on bed rest, and on my birthday I was told I didn't matter anymore. I feel for your husband, and from experience they aren't worth it. WTF. Ayo. Not the asshole. What she did was a blessing in disguise. Now y'all don't have a reason to deal with that blatant disrespect. It's so damn clear that she wish he wasn't around. Simple. She has her new family with the stepdad and the younger kids so why would she want a reminder of when she didn't have her perfect life? For goodness sake she forgot his birthday. How the hell do you block out the day you delivered a human? Op, please hug your husband and let him know you love him. He probably feels so unloved. Don't feel bad. She's just upset that you had to remind her of something she should already be aware of. You didn't make her a miserable mother. She been a miserable mother and you just brought that shit to light. Good luck in your endeavors op. Sounds like she's doing a fine job of making herself look like a miserable mother, all on her own. Not the asshole. NTA your partner's mum sounds like a narcissist. Honestly I'd cut contact with them, for the good of your partner's mental health. You know you're not the asshole here. The best thing is you don't have to see those miserable people anymore. Win. Not the asshole say, okay, no loss, go no contact and spend the time you would waste visiting them doing something fun together. Or with your mom. Not the asshole your mill is a terrible person.
Not the asshole your mill is a miserable mother. Not the asshole she's just upset that you had to remind her. Would she have called your husband if you didn't send her a message? Probably not. Not the asshole and she is a miserable mother. My parents always call me super early in the morning on my birthday, because they always want to be the first to wish me happy birthday. His family sucks and he is disappointed I wouldn't go as far as to suggest to him to cut them out, maybe just lower his expectations, but if he decides it by himself, support him. And don't worry, you'll always be the bad one, your mill sounds like someone who always looks for fault in other people, never herself. After everything you wrote, you clearly know what these people are like, and you knew there wasn't an issue with the phones, you just wanted to give the mother, who forgot her child's birthday, an easy excuse. Why? This man knows who his family is. You know who his family. Stop putting yourselves in a position to be disappointed. Going to someone's house when you know they will make you clean is a choice. Going to someone's house where your husband will be talked down to and forced to play the hired help is a choice. Why go some place and be around people who will make you feel unwanted and, in your husband's case, unloved? If your husband is having a hard to breaking this cycle then you need to be that strength and help him. Make them put in the work to be in his life. My only question is, why do you, husband and you, even care about them? I still don't understand what makes you expect something from them at this point in life. Not the asshole. She is a miserable mother, and human being, and she totally forgot. The two of you were barely welcome in her house before, she treated you both like dirt. Don't set yourselves on fire to keep someone else warm. Hi hi, an obvious not the asshole, and, if suppose, your husband knows, that she a forgot his b-day and b covered it up by telling him. The the asshole of the story made the proof of being the asshole forgetting, role switching by herself. P.S. P.H.P.s you need to talk with your husband. Just for the case, he doesn't know, or is denying the other things, you talked about. P.P.S. Additional question. How was his reaction to this, and that I'm now not welcomed at her house anymore? He keeps hoping something will change. Suggest to him that you and he should just drop the rope for a year and then re-evaluate. Meanwhile your family can be brought into both your lives more so he sees that your family can be his family. So she doesn't want you to come clean up her guest room and cook for her family, while she gets drunk and treats your husband like dirt? It doesn't seem like a bad thing to me. Your poor husband, it sounds like he would be better off not having them in his life. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but your husband sounds like a lost child or the scapegoat and should seek therapy if this sounds familiar at all. Opening square bracket dot. Nothing about his parents is normal, but he probably doesn't realize it and has internalized a lot of guilt. It's not his fault they ignore him sad face. Not the asshole, but I think you should have just let them forget. Would have sucked for your partner, but probably better than what ended up happening. Might want to check out R, just no mill. Not the asshole the mother is petty and irresponsible. Not the asshole. She did forget. Might be better for your boyfriend's mental health to go no contact with his family. No reason to have toxic people in his, your life. Grin seeing as your band why not tell her what you honestly think and going there is a miserable time. And thank her for banning you, Grin might want to ask boyfriend first though she is a piece of crap, he may not be at the point to understand it is okay to say, F you mom, you have always been a miserable person and I get depressed visiting you and you can't even call me on my birthday without being reminded or you just couldn't be bothered until you were called out on what a crap parent you are. Then go and see. Best of luck to you and your boyfriend. Why do you visit them? Not the asshole. She definitely forgot his birthday and overcorrected by blaming you. She absolutely is a miserable mother. The upside is that you and your partner no longer have to waste time with people who don't love or respect either of you. I mean, making you buy your own food because they can't even bother with their own son's food allergies? They're all miserable. Be free. Not the asshole she doesn't need your help to look like a miserable mother. Not everyone is built to be a wonderful parent, but thankfully your partner has you in his corner heart. Not the asshole. She's projecting her own shitty failings onto you. You're not trying to make her look like a bad mother when it's obvious she is one. She accuses you of making her look bad when she's the one who forgot her own son's birthday? Not even a birthday card. She is a bad mother. Not the asshole. You weren't exactly welcomed before, now all obligation has been removed, which while sad for him now is a long-term win. Not welcomed at her house anymore. 
When did she ever welcome you into her house? You had to clean the damn guestroom FFS. Let the trash take itself out on this one hun, he deserves better, as do you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This is a classic manipulation maneuver. She is now the victim. I'm so sorry I forgot your birthday. If my life weren't so sad and meaningless, I could focus on you more. See, I'm really the victim here. Not the asshole his mother sounds emotionally neglectful at best, and emotionally abusive at worst. Why do you keep visiting such vile people who don't give a damn about your or your partner's happiness or well-being? It's clear his own mother doesn't care for him through her actions and words. Dot. Why try maintaining a relationship with horrible people that make you miserable? Cut contact, you're the loving, supportive family he never had. Not the asshole. She is trying to push the blame off onto you because she knows she's a horrible mother and doesn't want to admit it. People like her can never accept responsibility for their own actions. Maybe this will finally be the push your husband will need to limit contact. But on the bright side you are off the hook, even if he really wants to visit you get to stay home now and not have to deal with them. I would count that as a win. Not the asshole. My parents are notorious for forgetting birthdays. I generally text them the day of to remind them to wish my kids happy birthday. It is what it is, and my feelings are no longer hurt if they miss my birthday. I just don't want my kids to be hurt. Edit to add, my parents appreciate the reminder. Not the asshole. She's just mad, cause she knows she's a shitty mother, but rather than be a better mother, she will blame her failures on you so she can convince herself the problem is you calling her out and not her actually being a shitty mother. Not the asshole, even though you were frustrated that they hadn't called you still gave her the benefit of the doubt. What she said to him was straight up manipulative, and she's just trying to get him on her side first. Not the asshole. If they hadn't called by the end of the evening, they weren't going to, and she's just mad that you pointed it out. You didn't even do it in front of anyone, it was in a, I'm guessing, private message. And she just gave you both a perfect reason for not visiting. Unless your partner is extremely attached to these people who never seem to want to make them feel welcome, why bother going any longer at all? Mill is manipulative, narcissistic and selfish. Should have let her forget and tell your husband to drop them out of your life. Poor guy has bio family but no love, it's not worth his sadness or your time to remind them your husband exists. NTA, keep calling Mill out every time. Not the asshole. Your intention was good. She got defensive because she forgot him, so she attacked you. I would try to make your husband feel comfortable to eventually talk about his family with you. It's obviously going to be a big trauma for him. Not the asshole. How has your husband reacted to this? Did he read your texts to his mother? What is his paw? Not the asshole. Not the asshole but I do have to ask is, xxx, a regional thing for quoting? I've seen it a few times recently and don't recall ever seeing it before last year. Been there, done the same thing. Just drop the rope. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. How you feel about it? Relieved. You're not welcome in her house anymore, so you don't have to visit anymore. Simple solution. Enjoy. And that I'm now not welcomed at her house anymore. This is the silver lining giving you and your partner an easy out to cut ties with his terrible family. Take advantage of it.